welcome back to our channel. We are the Real Dads of New York, living in Orlando. Uh, you trying to make it stick, huh? Yep. Okay. So uh, I saw his video, and you saw my reaction. Yes. To his video, part one of the age difference, the fifteen years. The age fifteen year age gap. Yep, um, we got a lot of interesting responses. Uh, thank you all who liked it, shared it. Um, we appreciate it. Um, and a lot of you were eagerly anticipating part two. So before we do that, though, what should they do? Like. Comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Share and click the bell down below to be notified of our content and our, our everything. All right, cool. So we should just jump right into it. I don't have any wine this time. We're going to do this over. We'll see how this works. It's not bad. Okay. Well, that's subjective. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to The Real Dads in New York. Um, so let me give you the tea. The tea? Dating someone younger than you, or younger than you are, can come with its ups and downs. So, let me just... This should be good. So, this wonderful man that I'm married to wasn't always this wonderful. Um, <clears throat> they were like, shit. <laughs> he put me through. There we go. And... Through it all, I had to learn to pray. Pray and ask God for guidance before I get into self and get ugly. So, when we started out, technically when we met, he was 16 turning 17. We didn't start dating until he was 21, or 20 turning 21. But, I knew that he was attracted to me. Hey, I thought he was a cute little kid at the time. Boy, Told him, boy, boy please. Pause that, pause that. I see you watching me, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He was attracted to me. I thought he was cute at the time. What? As a kid, yeah, you were 16, 17. Look back in your thing. Keep playing with it. <laughs> Just walk in the runway and model the clothes. So that's how we met. He modeled for me. I'm a designer, still design, but that's not what we're here for. So dating him, uh, once we broke up from whoever we were dating and we come together to see if it would work, we started out by me going to his mom, asking his mom permission and all that good stuff. His mom told me she didn't mind the age difference as long as he's happy. Now, she didn't warn me that there's a whole lot of shit I got to put him through and I had to go through in order for him to be happy because whoever he dated before me kind of put him through some shit mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. For me... So, here's the thing. The way that you're setting this up, right, it's almost like she didn't warn you no, she didn't tell me she had a brat for our son. <laughs> oh, so you just jump right into that, huh? I'm a brat? You're a spoiled brat. But what else didn't she tell you? Nobody told me. I had to find all that shit on my own. Okay, and I'll put all the things I have to find out. What did you have to find out? <laughs> I guess there'll be a part three now, wasn't there? Play the video. <laughs> I think whether age is the same or not, I think People have experiences that kind of mold them or shape them in who they are present day. I didn't know that at the time, so therefore I was just going with, he's cute, I'm attracted to him, you know, everything is wonderful, let's see where this goes. In the process, we started to get involved seriously and we, you know, fell in love. Um, he more so quicker than I was because I always walked with caution because, again, if any shit, any shit jump off, and I'm gone, I'm, I'm done with the bullshit. So, as we started to get to know each other, there were some things started to come up. Things from the past relationship. And for me, who 
I always, I think, more spiritual than some. I'm always looking for signs and looking for what is it that is the root cause of this problem. So as we got to know each other, I realized, yes, he was mature in a lot of ways, yes, but there was other way, other areas in his life where he wasn't fully matured or he didn't have that experience as yet. And even though I try to warn him about a lot of the shit that he would have, he could have avoided if he had listened, he chose to went and have that experience on his own, which almost have both of us losing a good thing because when okay so what that video said to me was should i get baptist church for a second yeah. what the video just said to me was that he was or you were not fully in necessarily you were in but like i was the one that kind of fell in love faster you did and well, i'm not denying that that wasn't the truth within the six seven months eight months do you recognize that in, I mean, I wouldn't even say gay relationships because any relationship these days, especially, you don't last only six to eight months, but regardless of the fact of how long it took or didn't take, whatever. So you were cautiously, or you were like apprehensive potentially in the beginning. Yeah. Because you were trying to figure out. Based on age. Based on age, based on your how experience we, and my experience. How can you be serious at 21? Most people at 21 just want to party and bullshit. But was I ever that type? Not really, but you were... 21 trying to figure out what became an adult meant? You sure. were putting me some, through some bullshit. Yeah. So and you wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Now, okay, again. The other thing you keep on saying is that I was putting you through stuff. Of course. Was it never anything on a receiving end or was it just me? What, what did I do to you? Y'all watched the last video, right? You watched our story. You watched, you wanted to go back what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however long many videos that was. So you're basically setting this picture up to say, Carlos was perfect in the beginning, or period, and I came along, and you had to put up with some of the things. Have that I put you through emotional issues? Other than demanding the things that I desired to be happy. Demanding the things that you desire to be happy. Damn right. Demand, ask, and you shall receive. God never tell you, go walking in the fucking wilderness blindly. Okay, but, but, Ask but, and you shall again, receive. but once again, think about the first, what, two years, I want to say, two years, and the arguments you would have, mm. the advice you get from your friends, even... Carlos, he's young. Or Carlos, you, you were wrong, you shouldn't be doing that? Because I was very demanding, yes. Okay, so again, so my whole point of my, the whole point of my statement was, mm. the way you're presenting it was such that you were... You were that, you were, you were it. And then I was the one that came along and you needed to put up with me to figure out. Oh, I was, I was, I was it. Hello. Let it be. Wasn't I the one? Let it be with you. Wasn't I the gift that you <laughs> actually <laughs> almost fucked up? Play a video. Okay. Mm -hmm. We separated. I had to, you know, kind of humble myself and prayed about it and not get angry. I'll humble yourself. I was. That was yeah. interesting. Um, my good friend Gary, what's up, Gary? Gary said to me, um, listen, the age might be the factor of it. You know, he's younger, so therefore he's not thinking with his head straight. You know, he's thinking with other things. And other things doesn't mean ass or dick, just mean and other feelings and emotions. And until he has a clear picture of what he wants, you just have to let him go. So for me, you know, learning that, you know, that I had to let go, which was difficult at the time. I started to kind of cleanse myself. I was angry, you know, frustrated. But nevertheless, you know, through my spiritual walk at the time, then still walking, but each day is a journey. Uh, kind of thought about if I love him, I got to love him through his, through his bullshit. So... Yes, he's not equally mature as I am, but where he is and some of his experience can also help me. <laughs> and if he's willing to hear my experiences. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is like a devious laugh or this is a what the fuck laugh or a huh laugh, mm. but I will say 
is that you are conveniently forgetting the parts of either Gary's advice, if you recall your cousin Nadine and her, and her husband, um, uh, his advice, particularly around the part where you can't always and are not always right. And you can't be an island to yourself. Remember that conversation you had with them? Yeah. And but, you, what, what, how, what, what was the end result what, of that night? Of, what was your response that night? I don't give a fuck. Okay then. So you can't sit there and say to anybody. No, that. no. There's a difference between you trying to persuade someone to come your direction based on your selfish desires. Meaning you and want to manipulate the situation. Being selfish then. I wasn't being fucking selfish. I was simply saying, listen, don't fuck around with my, my heart and emotions. This is where I want to be by a certain this, time. This was this was specifically, I think, maybe like year three of our relationship. This wasn't, yes. this wasn't, this, this wasn't even halfway yet. Yeah. I'm talking about the times when like you would do things that I wouldn't agree, I would do things you wouldn't agree, and the people who that you the people who you went to for advice would say, But Carlos, you also can't be that way if you want to be in a relationship. And your response time and time was, Don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Or this is the way I am, take it or leave it. But that's been from day one, and I'm still that way. You had to grow. So you stopped growing at some point? No, I'm still growing. I kinda slow my shit down to for you to catch up. <laughs> Did you catch up yet? <laughs> okay. Pretty video. Y'all, I'm gonna need some wine after this. That was a part of what the age different comes with and the challenge, whether or not, I guess in himself, he's whether thinking whether or not, am I gonna really be with this person for the rest of my life? Or can I break up and make up like other folks do? We did break up and we did make up, yes, but if we were walking in ego instead of humbling ourselves, we could have missed the blessing that we both bring in each other's life. So, and also the biggest blessing we would have missed being dads for Timothy. Your Honor, I object. Object all you want. <laughs> um, okay, that wasn't so bad. I didn't have as many reactions as I thought I was going to have. Mm -hmm. um, largely due because I know you and I anticipated a lot of things you were going to say. Um, some of the things I think we will have to agree to disagree on them, um, which is. Your ego? <laughs> no, and that bullshit. That's not about the ego part. We're the part, the part that I think, I think we all have our quote unquote triggers. Um, some of us use that word more than others. One of my pet peeves, I would say less than trigger, is the fact that to me, it's two people in a, in a relationship, not one. You mentioned about we have to agree to disagree. Yeah. But there's a difference between you really knowing within yourself that you're not trying to get over and have your way and the difference between that and saying, Even if I don't know everything, yeah. but that which I know I bring to the table. Listen, you have to, we each, everybody, me, you out there, you have to be confident in knowing what you bring to the table. You mm -hmm. have to know what your strengths are, you have to know what makes you uniquely you, and what you have that no one else out there has. Nobody has what you have. But I think what this shows everybody, I hope, is that no matter how long you are together, whether you've been together for five months, five years, 50 years, etc., there are always gonna be things that you don't agree with. And, and and my version of reality and my experience with you and your experience with me, even though we're, we're in the same experience, our takeaways are gonna be different. Like, I'm not gonna take away the same lesson from a situation that you will, even though we're both in a situation, right? Sometimes we're gonna validate what we've already felt to be true. And even though we got another perspective, we can still disagree. Sometimes we're going to realize exactly what the person is saying and why they're saying it and how they're saying it and take that lesson for exactly what it is and what they've been saying. And sometimes we're going to add to the lesson or add your own layer of advice or your own thoughts to enhance what the lesson should be for the two of us, right? That's just what relationships do. No relationship is perfect. Anybody who makes you think, anybody who presents like there is a perfect relationship is full of um, In my perspective, there are people who work better together. I agree with that. But not every relationship is squeaky clean and no one has, there's no fairy tale in my mind. I think it's one thing you've always said, there's no fairy tale. Um, and not that people can't believe in that, but the more you try to get a fairy tale, I, the more you can I, I didn't tell you about fairy tales. I tell no, you, no, they, there is no, advice. there is no, nobody gave you a, us a handbook in the beginning of the relationship that said this is- No one gives anybody a handbook. No. Right, and so all I am saying is, now you've seen what my, take is on our age gap. I've now seen what your take is on our age gap. And I think what I am left with, and hopefully you are all left with, is the fact that 
whether again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, five weeks, five days, five minutes, relationships take work. And it's just important for you to determine how much energy, how much work you are able to, willing to, want to, um, or to, to feel like. To commit to. Correct. Um, but no one can give you that. That's just something you have to decide for yourself. And my hope is that everyone can find someone, if you choose to be with someone, and, 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 and like some folks are happy being single, and that's fine too. Whatever works for you, do you. But do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, and we look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Peace out.